I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwaterquarium.com. And this is Mr. Saltwater Tank, RUF, raw, uncut, first impressions, the show where I call it as I see it on products that I haven't seen before. And today, we're talking about the new Neptune Systems Apex A3 Apex. Full disclaimer, I knew about this coming a couple days ago, but I haven't seen one in the flesh, so I'm going to open this thing up and give you my first impressions on it. And it's new in box. Oh, look, they didn't put security tape on this end anymore. That's nice, because that was always annoying when you had to cut it out from both ends. There you go. There's the security tape unbroken. This thing has not been opened. I'm going to crack this thing open and give you my first impression thoughts on it. All right, opened up the box. This is new. Solid surface sensor in the box. And this looks like an optical sensor. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's just take that out of the way, set that aside. I want to look at the base unit because I'm not seeing an FMM module anywhere in here. Here's a change. We have a pH probe and we have a temperature probe. There's no ORP probe. There's no salinity probe. Now this is the A3 Apex. There's an Apex A3 Pro and an A3 Apex Junior. So I'm guessing that the Pro has more of those missing probes. With that being said, like I said, that being said, like I said, that's why it's an uncut first impression show. I want to look at the base unit. Okay. Same size, same look, orange and gray. No salinity probe, which is not expected. No second junction here for the ORP probe. But I've got three FMM ports here. So that's interesting. The FMM... The module has four. This one has three built into the base unit. So out of the box, I can monitor my temp. I can monitor my pH. I can plug in an energy bar. I've got a serial port for those of you that like breakout boxes, Ethernet connection, and three FMM ports. So you can almost run this thing as an auto top off unit without having the FMM. Now, if you still buy the ATO, the Apex ATO, as of right now, you still get that FMM port, but I'm thinking to myself, all I need is the ATO bracket and the two sensors that come with it, and of course the pump, pump that comes with it, and I got myself an Apex with monitoring and ATO control out of the box, which gets me, as a user, pretty far down the line. Yes, I do more with my Apexes, but those are the big things off the bat I wanna know. I wanna control something, I wanna monitor something, and I can control the ATO. So that's interesting on the base unit. I want to go back to these sensors because that jumped out at me first. Okay. The AC3 comes with solid surface leak detection. This looks the same. Okay. This is what caught my eye. This looks like a new optical sensor. It's got the same kind of cone shape to it. It's got the optical eye and it's magnetic with plenty of cord. This can be a lover hate kind of thing. If you don't need this to go very far, you don't know, like, how do I ring all these cords? If you do have to go far with it, you're thankful for the cord. Now, my thought on this is, is this stronger than the previous one? And for some of you that had issues with the optical eyes, is it more reliable in a sense against water intrusion? Now, of all the optical sensors that I have out there, I've probably got 50 in the field. I've had four of them fail. So that's my personal track record with them. My big question is, is this stronger than the previous optical sensor? Because a lot of times I'm putting them on my industrial sumps, which is half inch material, and the magnet holds pretty good but not as strong as I like. So I'm gonna look at the optical in a separate episode. I'm just looking at this Apex system as a whole. A couple things jump out at me. It's interesting that it comes with an optical and it comes with a, a water on floor sensor, a solid surface water on floor sensor. And I'm willing to bet that Neptune has a bunch of data on how many solid surface sensors are out there versus the under carpet ones versus opticals. And they decided that, hey, most people want the solid surface. Most people want an optical. So we're going to include it in the AC3 Apex. 
Still getting used to this FMM ports built in to the base unit. I really would like, I'd almost love to have one of these with the Neptune Systems ATO, and that's an Apex unit because as a new user, that's gonna get me pretty darn far down the line. Again, because I can monitor things, I can control it with the energy bar. The energy bar A32 is included as well. I can monitor my pH. For a lot of people, they don't understand ORP or don't want to monitor that. I can get it online and I can use a breakout box if I want. So why not include, like make an Apex version that's this with an optical or two. I like the eye, I like the water on a uh, floor sensor because this tells me how high the water layer is in my sump, if my sump is getting too high or too low. And then as there are things leaking, then I get the ATO included, bang. Okay, enough with that. Maybe they'll take my idea, maybe they won't. Overall, here is an Apex system that gives me, for a lot of users, everything they need. Temperature monitoring, pH control, water sensing, that's built in. Again, I still like to see that ATO, but that's just me. So my first thought is, here's a middle road Apex, because there's a junior, and then there's a pro, which is gonna fulfill most Aquarius needs. And you can always add on to this if you want. You can add other modules, you can expand this thing out, you don't have to go nuts like me, but hey, you could if you want. Okay, so here's something else that's hitting me. I put this next to my A2 Apex, and I'm not gonna know the difference. How do I know this is a new brain until I, any different than the A, the A3 versus the A2 until I look at this underneath? It'd be kind of cool if this said like A3 on it or like the A3 lit up, or maybe it was a different color or something, just from a marketing standpoint, like give me some differentiation. That doesn't say anything about the quality of the product. That's just me being picky. But look, at the end of the day, it's giving most Aquarius what they need out of the box, not too many bells and whistles, but not too little at the same time. I'm gonna come back to this new optical sensor. I'm also gonna set this thing up. How easy is this thing to set up? Maybe there's a different app to come with it, a different setup type of experience. And I'll look at that and see if that's worth reviewing in another episode. But from first impressions, again, I'm really interested about this FMM port built in. That's cool. I'm okay with the lack of salinity probe. I'm okay with the lack of ORP in this model. Here's a great package for people that want to get into the control side of the Apex uh, ecosystem with not too much uh, spending a, a fortune, but not spending too little for something we always have to be adding on to it. Mm -hmm.